Okay, guys. Interesting thing for you here. All right. So, let me get this set up here. All right. So, say you have, um, say you have a pig, and you don't know how much it weighs. You ain't got a scale. You ain't got a weigh tape. <coughs> let me get this out of the sun out of here. You ain't got a scale. You ain't got a weigh tape. But you got a measure tape and a piece of string. But you're trying to figure out how to weigh a hog. Or you say you got a hog that's too big to weigh and you don't got all that happy horse crap. Um, this is a method that uh, I find works really great. Um, now, I will admit that once the hog gets, so oh, I want to say 500 pounds or so, it gets to a certain size and then it's plus or minus 5 pounds. This method will get you within 5 pounds of the pig. So, um, I'm going to choose the hog that stands the best and we'll probably have to do this a couple times, but I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's start with, uh, let's start with my big opal. So on this method here, you need two measurements. You need a measure from the ears to the, ta to the tail um, for the length. So because this sow is so long, I'm just going to kind of guide it along and hold it in place best that I can. Okay, I have her length. That's how long she is. Now, I'm going to take my tape measure, and I'm going to go and stretch this out the best that I can. Now, this is probably where the variations come in. Um, you know, did you stretch it, so on forth, so forth. Okay, she is... 70 inches long. Now, and I'm going to write this down. Length, 70 inches. I'm going to write that down. And <laughs> she's moving away because she's, it's fall. They're grubbing or rooting. Rooting. Root grubbing. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go for the heart drift. We'll see if she'll sit for me. Now, mind you, you want to do this with pigs that are really awesome. You don't want to do this with a wild pig, for instance. Okay, so my sows are really awesome. Um, and the heart girth, just for video sake, is from behind the shoulder all the way around in a straight line around the animal. And I'll show you on the diagram that I have. So her heart girth is, once again, we're going to do this the best we can. Now, another thing too is these sows are much bigger than you'll generally find. Okay, she's 66 inches heart girth. Where'd I put my paper? There it is. Darn squirrels. 66 inches. Okay, now here comes the fun math. Where's my sheet? Ah, there it is. All right, so now, all right, how many people growing up were told by a teacher they'd never carry a calculator on them? Well, how many people have a cell phone? <laughs> so here's what I'm meaning by, okay, yeah, that's showing up fairly good. Okay, so you have the heart girth right behind the shoulder, straight up over the back. Now the best you can. Now when the animal's head's down, it's going to weigh more head up, it's gonna weigh less when you're weighing it, the, you know, this kind of way. And then base of the tail to the ears, base of the ears. So now here's the, here's the measurements, okay? Here at the formula. Heart girth, so 66. Don't eat my paperwork there, Betty. 66 times 66. Heart girth times heart girth. I don't know if you can see that, and eh, not very well. I'm just gonna do the math right in front of you. So 66 times 66. 
heart girth times heart girth times length. So 66 times 66 times 70. Actually, I should equal that. Okay. So 66 times 66 is 4,356. Okay. And then times 70. Come on. Equals 304,920 inches. Okay. Now you start probably thinking, there, well, how the hell do you get that to pounds? Would pigs? You take that number, heart girth times heart girth times length, and in America it's in inches, and then you divide it by 400. So 3,000 or 304,000 divided by 920 divided by 400. Come on, that sow is 762 pounds point 30. Um, and I'm thinking that's like, you know, that's, that's, that's I think that's tense. Um, and tense, that's, I don't have my formula. <laughs> so that sow has gained an extra 100 pounds since last year. Um, because I've known her to be 600 pounds. Now this other sow, I bet you, if, that, if that's holding true with this other sow, um, actually that sow now has actually gained 162 pounds and then some, in some change. And I bet this other sow now, if that holds true, is bigger. <laughs> now mind you, 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 you gotta decide for yourself. I mean, if you want to have pigs this big on your farm. Now, I luck out. These sows are awesome. Um, they've been handled a lot since birth. They came from a really awesome family um, who raises pigs. And, I mean, how many people can honestly say that when their sows aren't in heat and don't have babies, mind you? How many people can honestly say that when these pig, when their pigs are eating, they can put their hand in by their mouth and the pig won't bother, won't go for the hand? Yes, I'm batshit crazy. But, I dropped something one day in the dish. That's why I reached in to grab it. And I would admit, I was very hesitant. Um, I shouldn't have did it, should have waited, but I didn't want him to eat it. It might have been a pen or something. Alright, so let's see if we can't get my more wild pig. Let's see if we can't get my more wild pig bedding weighed. Look at that. Alright, her, I'm going for the heart grip first, because she doesn't mind me, um, touching her back. It's more her waist that I find to be the problem. And of course you're gonna move around, move and run around on me. Oh my god, she's so big. Whoop, drop my phone. I don't need her eating that. Okay. Make sure it's the right. Side. And here goes the measuring. Big Betty, let's see what your heart girth is. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven on the heart girth. Oh bloody hell. Oh yeah, she's going to be a lot bigger. Alright, now if we'll go for the length. Like I was saying, I'm sorry. These sows love to move around. Now, the length, no matter what, head down or not, base deal, you, 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 girl. Don't move. Don't eat my paperwork either. That sow is almost too long for my stuff. Nah, you and your burdock. You and your burdock. Oh. Alright. Let's see if we can't get a length on this hog. They like burdock. 
They've been eating it a lot, which I think is wonderful because it's clearing it up out of my paddock. She is 73. Now, she's slightly over 73, but I'm going with 73. I don't need an exact figure on these hogs. All right, so, handy dandy calculator. So again, Miss Betty is heart girth, 67. So 67 times 67 equals 4,489 times, come on, length of 73 equals 327,697 divided by 400 equals she has gained over 100 pounds that sow there is now 819 And a quarter pounds. So, um, yeah, 819 pounds, four ounces, give or take. I don't put much faith in the ounces. No, oh, hello. But like I said, so, um, we're talking, um, don't eat my string. Um, so, like I said, give or take five pounds. Alright, so let's take away five pounds. These, that hog is still 814 pounds live weight. This is all live weight. Um, and if you want to do uh, hanging weight, I believe hanging weight is 65% of live weight. 60-65. Um, it's been a while since I had to do that kind of figuring. Um, I got it written down somewhere in a notebook. But anyways, um, so once again, let's do, that's Betty, let's do Opal again. So remember, 66 times 66, heart girth times heart girth, times length, and Opal was 70 inches. Okay, now divided by 400, 762. And some big hogs. <laughs> um, they're my breeding sows, actually. So you know, but at, at that size, uh, they, 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 I consider them hogs. I don't know what technically if they're considered hogs or not in the hog world. Some people get really uh, anal about proper terms. You know, sow versus gilt and uh, boar versus uh, uh, whether you know uh, piglet uh, versus market hog versus again versus hog. And, um, I can do an explanation video on that later on, um, but, you know, in my world, it's just like, I got a sow, I got a boar, I got a gilt, I got a boar, <laughs> um, cut, uh, actually a weather is a, uh, uh, a cut, a, a neutered, uh, goat, goat and sheep. I can't remember what a cut bore is, but anyway. So yeah, that's a simple that's a simple whole thing. All I did was tie two pieces of baler twine together. Um, I didn't have a I don't have a um, go to you know a go to string. And the best part about this is this stretches out over time. You're still measuring. It doesn't matter if this stretches out or not because you're still measuring it each time you do a wrap around on on your on your hog. Um, and uh, anybody can, I'll put a, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. Um, I got this formula. I love this formula. I, um, I could never remember it, and I actually found it online. There's a site, it's called um, thepigsite.com. I, I, they're, they're my go-to for a lot of hog questions. I, I enjoy their site. They got a lot of great formulas um, on there that are easy to follow. They also, so they have the American version of this, you know, which is for pounds. And if you want uh, kilograms, then um, you'll be measuring, oh, right here, you can do a quick thing uh, by your heart girth, you multiply by 69.3. Um, for instance, heart, you know, 
I'm reading this right. Um, or you can just do it in meters, so like 1.7 meters. No, well, they've got an example on here. They've got con they've got the conversions on here and everything to make it more simple for everybody. Um, and oh, here we go. Uh, it was right on the back of my thing that I've got here laminated. Um, up for formula gives you live weight of your pig. The conversion from live weight to dead weight can vary somewhat. However, using the ratio of 72% will give you a good approximation. Um, thus, in our example, pig pork would have a carcass weight, hanging weight, of 180 pounds. Now, for their for their example that they used, um, that was for a 250 pound pig in their conversion. So, a 250 pound pig, live weight, or not live weight, 250 pound pig, live weight, dead weight, hanging weight, would be 180 pounds. Um, by their conversion. Um, I'd have to, you know, you probably have to check. This is kind of oldish now. So, you know, check online through your ag department or something like that, and you could probably find out what the newer science equations are saying for what the live weight versus dead weight um, versus uh, finished package weight. The numbers get smaller and smaller. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, um, there is, and you, as far as I know, you'll be hard-pressed. So, like, for instance, I have a hog weigh tape. Um, but I don't use it very often, and here's the reason why. Like, for instance, these sows, that, that, that hog weigh tape only goes to 250 pounds. Um, these hogs, it, 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 these hogs are too big for it. Um, and my market pigs, uh, they don't sit still enough for me to do that. So, like, the string is a quick, easy way, um, to check it. Usually I carry two strings, but when I got awesome sows like this, I can sit there and dilly around all day or however long it took <laughs> so yeah so yeah give or take five pounds which at, the, at these sizes give or take five pounds I mean come on it's big hops <laughs> have a good one hope you enjoyed the video yeah, we we'll just take a look at them grubbing around a little that's my prize girl right there. Big old Betty. And big old Opal. <laughs> Have a good one.